Kenneth Eugene Smith was executed via nitrogen anoxia, nitrogen hypoxia. It was a vile and horrific and horrible and disgusting form of death and state-sponsored murder, 22 minutes plus, to have him gasp and lurch in these agonal paroxysms, forever freaking out the witnesses who by law had to observe this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is about time that we bring back and consider the guillotine. I am not going to argue whether the death penalty makes sense, whether it's barbaric, whether it demeans us, whether we as a people somehow so I'm I'm not I'm 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 not interested in that. What I am interested in saying and what I am interested in bringing to your attention is that if you're going to do something effectively and if you want to do something which is quote humane the thing to do is to bring back the guillotine using hydraulics that will force and slam and cause the the blade to be delivered in such a way in 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 such a, a me in, in such a delivery that is so swift and certain and fast and breathtakingly efficient in immediately severing the head of the condemned to be dropped into a basket of, or, or some type of container that's lined with some type of plastic or something to, to cover, to handle the extraneous blood that one could imagine, one would see. Maybe not at first, but later on. It would therefore allow the, the drapes to then be immediately shut so that before blood gushes, once the, the heart still pumps and pounds, the last gushes and gushers of blood through the various carotids, it's done, it's finished, it's through, it's, it's done. Why don't we do this? And the reason why is, believe it or not, we don't want to do anything to traumatize the witnesses. Did you know that? Seeing this nitrogen anoxia, but that's not traumatic. I don't understand why, why that's considered okay. When you take your dog, your beloved pooch, your family who is old and at the end of his or her ropes, you take the dog to the vet. They are able to deliver a kind of a, a bolus, a little, a little a delivery of some barbiturate or something that causes the doggy to just close its eyes. There's no convulsion. There's no nothing. Oftentimes, people hold the dog. It's it's a it is a fate. It is a procedure that is in and of itself beyond horrific you feel almost like you're you're like part and parcel of this but but irrespective you are you are involved in this system and you are allowed to do this to okay so why don't we do that with a not not hold them but why don't we just Take, we don't need special chemicals, these, these cocktails of pen, curumium, bromide, and these devices, these chemicals to stop the heart and stop the breathing and curare. Oh, just blast them. And the reason why, believe it or not, is sometimes there might be some froth or some type of spittle or sputum or foam or something that may result in the person looking somewhat ghastly, but out of his memory, misery completely. 
So no, no, they go for these other ridiculous, needlessly complicated uh, forms of, of dispatch involving chemicals that are oftentimes kept from the from the use by companies and the like. And by the way, I happen to be opposed to the death penalty itself for reasons I'll talk about later on. But if you're going to do it, I mean, if that's what you're intending, I mean, it makes the most sense to do it in a way that is the most sensible and the most immediate and the most, and, and, and I think the most, dare I say, a little dramatic because one of the reasons, one of the things I think you want is for the whole process to be a tad, uh, well, a, a, a tad dramatic to the point where it acts as a bit of a deterrent. Where it acts as a deterrent. As it, where it, 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 it makes people think like, ooh. Because nobody ever says, well, I got nothing to worry about. The death penalty will be quick and, and, and fleet. And, no, 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 no. People will normally fly, find it. But the guillotine? To walk in and see this device, to see these huge hydraulic, just think about these hydraulic springs that bring this surgical blade down so fast, so quickly, so, so rapidly. Years ago, there was that one case where someone who was sentenced pledged that he or she, he would would blink you know yes if he was still awake and and there is a there there is a time there is this consciousness before the blood seeps where the the body where there is a certain degree of awareness i don't know how long but but there is this point where this head is aware is aware how interesting so all I'm saying is, do you agree with me? I'd love your thoughts and comments. Do you believe? Do you agree? Do you feel that the guillotine should make its return? Please subscribe to this channel if you like it. And comment as you see fit.